I think I'd go back to what the first paying guests, first people that ever stayed here, uh, called us over the house and they called the place a sanctuary. So I think that I would like for people to know that it's really a nice, peaceful place, a place where they can relax, a place where they can feel peace, because that's what most people tell us when they come. So I'd just like them to know it's just a real sanctuary. I think what sets us apart more than any is we run, really never started a business uh, from the dreams that we began to have back 30 years ago now when the pine trees were just seedlings that you'll see here. Uh, we, we answered a calling more than we started a business. Now it's turned into a business, but it began as answering a calling uh, to provide a place for people to come and stay. The one thing that I, I think we hear most and, and almost from every person that stays is they don't want to leave. So I think what I want people to walk away with is that they don't want to walk away. They'd like to stay. And so that's why I think over the years that so many people come back over and over again because they find something really special and unique here. And they tell us it's special and unique and, and I think that's probably why we have over 3,000 five star reviews. The amenities that we've enjoyed all our life mainly are still here. Uh, the creek, just a fun little place to, if you have children to take them, or even if you're an adult, just to go wading in the creek looking at it. Wildflowers in the spring are just magnificent down there. And, and then we have a catfish pond and, and uh, kids love fishing in that, and we do too. Uh, trails all through the woods and then there's wildlife. You wake up in the morning, you walk out on your porch and it's very possible that there's some turkey or deer standing they're looking at you and of course then there's birds everywhere just an enormous amount of birds and then from time to time we have some special events that's taking place uh, we have a firefly event that takes place and so just a lot of just nature things that people enjoy I think the greatest impact was uh, for us was to stay together. Uh, given that I felt like I was answering a vision and a calling, I knew that at the end of it, it was to hold things together, you know. And so now there's another generation coming along that has began to uh, my sons and now a granddaughter and, and a daughter-in-law, and they see it as I saw it, a really special place. And uh, so now I feel like that. Given that I was given a job, uh, I feel like the job's almost there and now another generation's taking it over and they're going to be treating people just like we did because they see what it meant to people. Well, I, I would have to say the greatest experience, uh, spiritual experience that I've ever experienced, uh, I mean, that happened here on the farm, happened to me, and I think that's how the farm actually then got to be here. Uh, we were going through a really dark time with family and a, a son that was uh, going to prison and a dad-in-law that was sick and everything, and so things seemed to have kind of crumbled, you know, and I didn't know um, whether it was even going to be here or not, but then one night uh, in kind of a, I guess a, a state, myself, crying, shaking, uh, felt like my world had fell apart. And I uh, walked out on my balcony and, and I quoted a scripture, I actually screamed it and you could hear me all over the farm that night, you could have heard it anywhere. Uh, I, I read, I, I quoted and said, Luke eleven thirteen, you being earthly fathers and evil want to give good gifts to your children, so much more so. He wants to give the gift of the Holy Ghost to those that ask. And, and so, in that moment, and, uh, an animal cry came out of me that said, I don't know what that is, but I've got to have something. 
and then in the next minute it's like you peeled my head back and started pouring warm honey down my body and when it got to my toes I, I fell I could not stand up there was a weakness about it but the peace that came uh, has stayed with me and I think that's part of the peace of the farm that we're able to give that away now because it was a I was filled with the Holy Spirit that night. I didn't know what it was, but uh, over time, I uh, began to know Him. And uh, so I think that's why people love the farm, and we do too, and that, that, we could, that the peace that people feel here is because of that, because I took that night and I went forward with it, and, and, a, and I hope a big way, and still today. So. There's been many experiences that people's had on the farm. I just had to tell you mine. Uh, other people would have to tell you you're, you're theirs, but there's been everything from just that personal experience of feeling peace or something special to people being uh, healed of things from prayer here on the farm. So um, that's why it's not just a sanctuary. It's, it's something a little beyond that. So come and have your own experience. We're here. I just like telling anybody that uh, I've said this since day one, and it still holds true today, and it will hold true tomorrow. That uh, from the time we started uh, the first home, the Red Farmhouse, someone told us the, everything that we produced. He said uh, he used the term, "Brother, this is Jesus class out here." So I just like people to know that that's what it is. I mean, we. My saying is that we clean every home like you're the first person that ever stayed here. And when I can't do that, we're not gonna do that anymore. So feel assured that where you're coming, and you'll see that in, a, in the reviews, that uh, uh, it's clean, it's neat, and it's just about perfect. <laughs>